All right, I want you to meet me in a high plank, feet on the gliders, hands on the mat. So just find those gliders underneath the feet. Holding it here, just holding that high plank to begin. Getting into the body, clearing the mind, centering yourself for class today. Holding it here just a few breaths longer. Ooh, about five more seconds just to feel that plank, tailbone tucked, chest reaching forward, armpits down, shoulders pulling out the ears, and let's take it into a crunch. Bring those knees in underneath the hips, take a little pause, and then sending it back out. Now I grabbed both of those gliders because if you'd like to take a modification to that, you can take one leg in and send it back. And then the other leg in nice and slow. So just one at a time, finishing with that leg straight before you take that other leg in. Now, if you want to just use one glider for that, go ahead and send that other one off to the side. Legs squeezing together on that single glider and that same crunch with both knees in. All options are absolutely fine. Whew. 15 more seconds here for that crunch. And then we're going to take it into little pulses. Whew. Keep reaching and hold this one here. From here, you're going to press back an inch. Hold. Pull back in that one inch. Hold. Slide back one inch. Hold. Come back in that one inch. Whew. 15 more seconds here for this pulse. And then we take it back to full range. Pull back an inch. Yes. And press back an inch. Pull back an inch. One more time each way. Press back that one inch. Pull back in. And now back to full range. Nice and slow. Find that nice long plank. And find that full crunch again. Pause. And then all the way back out. Whew, let's do one more. All the way in. Pause. And then sliding back out. Hold here, finish strong with that plank. And then we're gonna come down flipping around. Seated on the mat, heels on that glider. Here we go. Flip it around. Just that single glider, you're always welcome to grab both if that's your preference, if that's what works best for you on your floor. From here, heels on that glider, legs squeezing together if they're on that single one. Arms reaching up, roll back just behind those sit bones. And that's your starting position and your ending position. We're going to roll back further in that waistband for the mat. Take a little pause at the bottom. Squeeze those legs as you pull them up and in. Pausing right behind those sit bones. So we never want to come up all the way on top. We never want to take that rest at the top. Whew. And lifting up. Just 15 more seconds here for this full range, that nice slow movement. And we're going to hold it at the bottom and take pulses here. That same slow controlled pulse we just did in our plank crunch. Nice. Good. And then coming back again. We're going to hold it here. Legs will stay static. From here, you're going to come up an inch. Whew. Come back down that one inch. Hold. Up one inch. Whew. Down one inch. Pause. Up one inch. And down one inch. Whew. And up one inch. And down. Whew. Five more seconds here. We're going to take it back to our full range. We're going to add a twist of the torso. Here we go. Let's come to genie arms here. And you're going to come all the way up just behind those sit bones, twisting the torso to one side. Strong twist. Square it off as you send those legs away and send those shoulders back rolling down. Pull it up and in. And let's twist to the other side. Whew. And rolling back. We're already halfway with this variation. It's going by fast. Keep pulling those abdominals in tight. Keep pulling those shoulders out of the ears. They slide down the back. Whew, less than 15 seconds left here. Nice slow movements. When you hit that twist, try to go just a little bit further. 
We have just enough time for one more twist here. Ooh, I want you to send those legs away. I want you to send those shoulders back. Hold it here. Twist to one side in this long position and just those legs. Pull in and slide back out. And in. And they slide back out, holding that strong twist in the torso. Ooh, five more seconds here. We take it to the other side. We are not coming up. We're just going to take that twist to the other side. Hold it here. Come through center, twisting to the other side, and those legs crunch in and out. Ooh. Try to pull those shoulders around just a little bit more. Make sure that it's not just the arms reaching. This is five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Come back to center. See if you can come down just an inch deeper and then slowly all the way up to the top. Nice job. All right, we're taking it around again. Feel free to use both those gliders. I'm gonna use that single. We are gonna take another plank. We're gonna pull it into a pike now. So find that nice long plank. This time, legs stay straight. And scooping up. Always feel free to drop down onto those elbows if those wrists are starting to talk. Whew, find that nice long position. And then scooping up and in, trying to keep the weight on those toes really nice and light. Oh, reach that chest forward. Whew. Rounding through the back and then slowly finding that plank again. Next one, we take it into the pulses that we've been doing. Here we go. Scoop it up and in, hold. Release that pipe a little bit. Come back in that one inch, out an inch, in an inch, and out. Scoop it in, and out. Whew. Scoop it in, five seconds. Five seconds and we've got full range to finish. Whew, here we go. All the way back out, nice long plank. Squeeze your legs, scoop it up and in. Nice, and slowly. Sliding back out, Whew, that's it. All right, one more. We're gonna flip it around again. Whew, push that floor away. And find that plank, finish strong. Don't fall out of it. Bring those knees down with control. Flip yourself around. We want both gliders for this one. Knees on the mat, hands on those gliders. You're gonna find a knee plank position. Tailbone tucked, back nice and long. Send those arms away. You can drop down a little bit. You can slide out a little bit with those gliders as long as you're in control. Dig down, slide them back and underneath your shoulders. Slide them away. Whew. And pull it back in. You can always take this single arm. If that double arm is too much. Whew. Squeezing those legs. I want you to feel those shins and the tops of your feet pressing into the floor, really anchoring you down. Drag it in. Whew, only 10 more seconds here. We're taking it right into some push-ups with those gliders. Give me one more like this. Exhale, pull. And then front here, send one arm away, the other arm bends down into a push-up. That elbow tucks in tight to the body and lift back up nice and controlled. Whew. Perfect, yes. Whew. Keep pulling that belly up and into that lower back. Especially as we come down into that push up, make sure we're not sinking into that lower back. Whew. This is it. 10 more seconds here. You can either stay here on your knees for the next one, or you can pop up onto your feet into a high plank. Three, two, here we go. Popping up onto the feet. We're gonna take that single arm reach here. No more push up, just that single straight arm reach, holding that plank. If you're in that high plank, see if you can squeeze those legs together. If you need a wider base of support, take them wider, take them hip distance, or as wide as you need. But we wanna make sure 
those abdominals are working. Less than 20 seconds here. Drag it in. Doesn't matter how far out you slide. You can also hold this plank static and eliminate that arm reach. One more time. Find that plank, hold it. Whew, let's come out of it nice and strong with control, knees down. I'm gonna send one glider away. I'm gonna keep the other one. And we're gonna grab the hand weights. We're coming into our standing work now. So I'm gonna mirror you. So this will be my right leg. We're gonna start with the right leg. Left toes lightly on that glider. Left foot on the mat. We want a hip distance position here, so you don't want to be on that balance beam, that tight rope. I really like using the mat as a guide for this one because with that glider, if you hit that mat, if you go too far behind that front leg, you can't glide. It's a nice tool. Here we go. We're going to take a reverse lunge, that proposing position with a front raise. So arms are going to lift straight up, right in line with the shoulders as you bend both legs to 90 degrees. And then slowly driving back up through that front right leg, pausing right before we hit the top. Don't let that leg go all the way straight. Don't let it rest. And then we come down again. Whew. Driving up with control. Yes. Nice, slow four count to go down. Little pause at the bottom, feeling that. And slowly up. Only 15 more seconds here, and we're going to hold it at the bottom. It's just a static hold for the lower body, and we're going to take it into little punches across with those arms. This next one stays down. Holding it here, pull those arms in. Lower body stays just as it is. We're going to take a little twist with a reach across, back through center. Little twist, so a lot of stability work here. Take your time with it. It's not a fast movement. Whew. Really stabilizing through the lower body. Whew. All right, hold the next one center and slowly coming all the way up through that front right leg. Bring those arms back down. We go back to full range with that front raise. We've got one more set of each. No changes. You already know it. Just one more set of each to finish off this reverse lunge sequence. Whew. Pushing through that front heel. There it is. Whew. Nice. Whew. Less than 30 seconds left for this full range. And we've got that hold with those punches across. Of course, with those punches across, you're welcome to eliminate them. You can just take that static hold. Ooh, nice slow movements. Ooh, don't let that leg rest. Here we go. Next one stays down. This is where we finish. Take that front raise to find that position. Pull those arms in here and take that reach across. Tiny, tiny twist in the torso here. Finding that control, yes. Whew. 15 seconds to the finish line, guys. It's okay to wobble. We're fighting for stability, but it's okay to wobble. I wobble too. Three, two, let's finish strong. Four counts to the top, four, three, two, all the way up, give that leg a tiny brief rest. We're staying with that right foot on the mat, left, Toes lightly on that glider. We take it right into a side lunge here. Hands start at the shoulders. We're taking a tricep press as we come low in that right leg. Arms go straight. Whew, belly pulling tight, shoulders forward. Chest is lifted. And slowly again pausing right before we hit the top with that right leg. Don't let it go straight. I'll show it from the side. So I'm a little bit bent here. And we've got that tricep press, my back stays long. Shoulders come forward, but I'm not dropping them below my hips, my chest stays up. And then slowly up, pausing right there, yes. Whew. We're gonna add on a single skate at the 
the bottom. Just one skate, and then we come back up. Here we go. We're gonna take another tricep press with that skate. So as that left leg skates in, hands come back to the shoulders. Press back, find that tricep press here as that leg reaches back out, then all the way back up, just to that 90%. And again, just that single skate. reach through those arms and then all the way up. Oh, keep breathing. Nice, easy breathing. Always grab water when you need to. Wipe the sweat when you need to. And up. Whew. Yes, last one here. Ooh, you almost get a rest. Good. Hold this next one down. All right, we're taking it into pulses. Arms stay straight. As that right leg pulses down, those arms lift up. And reset. And down. Reset. Reset. Ooh, 10 seconds. That's all you have to give me here. Of course, if those arms are too much, pull those hands in front of the chest. Three, two, here we go. Four counts to the top, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, we stay right here. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more space here. That back left leg stays straight on this one. We're bending deeply into that front right leg. Arms come in front like you're holding a tray. 90 degrees at those elbows. We come forward over that front right leg. Reaching those arms forward and back up. That back leg stays nice and straight, coming up just to that 90%. Whew. That's it. Nice slow movements with both the arm, arms and that lower body. Whew. Easy breathing, and slowly back up and in. Next one stays low, we've got pulses here. That's the theme of the day, right? Hold it here, pull those hands right in front of the chest. I want you to find that down first. Come back up that one inch, and down. Back up that one inch, down an inch, and up. I always say, you're welcome to come down more than that one inch, but never up more than an inch. Whew. Nice. Hold it here. Bring those hands back to that holding a tray position. And all the way back up just to 90%. We go back to that full range with that reach forward, that offering. Whew. This is where we finish for our standing work. Stay with me. Stay with me. Whew, less than 10 seconds here, you guys. We have just enough time for one more. Make sure you're taking it slow. And slowly all the way up to the top. Whew, give that leg a tiny rest. Let's set our hand weights down. I'm gonna put my glider away also. And we're gonna grab that tubing. We're still on that right leg. So I'm gonna wrap that handle around my right foot. You can wrap the band itself around the foot. You can also put both handles around the foot if you want that extra little bit of tension. We're coming down right away onto elbows and knees. My bottom is in the air, elbows right underneath those shoulders. And you're gonna send that leg straight, reach it. You can flex or point that foot. Make sure it's right in line with the body. We're gonna cross it outside that bottom left leg. Give it a tap on the floor. And then here, you're gonna bend it in to a fire hydrant position. Elbow, uh, knee pulling into that armpit. Send it straight again as you cross it and tap it back behind you. Lift it up nice and slow. It bends in, knee stays nice and high. And send it back again for that cross and that tap. Lift it up high, nice slow movements. Hopefully that glute is already talking. Whew. 
All right, we've got one more here and I want you to hold that fire hydrant position. Ooh, don't rush through it. If you're already there, stay there for me. From here, we're gonna stay lifted here and reach open to the side. Now for this one, since we stay on the side, you are welcome to pop up onto that right hand. That helps get that lift, that opening in that hip. And reach directly to the side. Whew. Bend it in and reach. And, and keep that knee up. Ooh, think about lifting it higher as you straighten that leg, lifting it even higher as you bend it. One more here, one more here. Stay with me, holding it here, little lifts to the ceiling with a bent knee, little lifts. Ooh, hold it up there, finish strong with me. We've got 15 more seconds here for these little knee flares, these butterflies. And that is it for that right leg. This is the home stretch, you guys. Less than 10 seconds to go. You can do this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. We're hanging onto that band. We're gonna grab that glider again. So we're gonna sit on the mat, heels on that glider, just like in the very beginning. Wipe that sweat out of your eyes. We're gonna wrap the band around the feet. And we have a handle in each hand now. Legs are squeezing together. Ankles, heels, knees, inner thighs. We're gonna hinge that torso back. We're not gonna use the glider just yet. I just wanna get that upper body work going. We're gonna take a nice slow bicep curl. Whew. Strong through the abdominals. Whew. Chest is lifted, belly pulling tight. Resist the pull of that band as you release that bicep curl and slow release. Now, if you wanna add that glider in, it's that same movement we did in the very beginning. As those arms lengthen out, those legs are gonna lengthen out and you're gonna send your shoulders back. Woo! Just to where you can control it, just to where those feet don't fly off the glider. Pull those knees in, crunch it in as you take that bicep curl. Nice. Woo! and curl it in. That crunch is optional, you're welcome to stay with that first position, keeping those knees bent the whole time. We wanna come just behind those sit bones again. Again, we don't wanna come all the way up. We don't wanna get that rest. Whew, 10 more seconds here. We stay right here for the next one. We're just gonna change those arms. We're gonna go back to just that sit. No crunch to start. Whew, in three, and two, finish strong, hold it here. Send the arms forward, palms face each other, and pull wide. I'll turn to you so you can see that just a little bit better. From here, we're pulling open. My palms are facing forward here. Resist, palms face each other here. Ooh, nice flat back right behind those sit bones. You should be feeling those abdominals if you wanna take that crunch. We're gonna send those legs away as the arms come together, come forward. Send the shoulders back, pull everything up and into the start, pull open, yes. And lift, good. All right, we have less than 15 seconds to go here. Strong pulls. Whew, squeeze those shoulder blades. Whew, we're down to five, four, three, two, one. Hang on to that band. You can leave that glider right where it is because we are going to need it right there for our standing work coming up. So I'm gonna take that band underneath my knees. I'm gonna separate my knees bring my feet together so I've got a frog, a diamond shape in my legs. And then for this first one, I'm gonna sit right down onto my heels from here. You cross that band in front of you so the hands are holding the opposite side of the band. Palms face each other. Open those arms a little bit so if you were looking in the mirror, you could see the inside of your elbows. And pull, keeping the bicep and the elbow tight into the body. And release. Not 
all the way close. Again, if I were looking in a mirror, I wouldn't be able to see the insides of my elbows here. I release just to this point and pull wide from here. Whew. And resist, stopping right there and open again. Yes. Whew. And release. Whew. Squeeze those elbows and biceps into that rib cage. Belly pulling tight, even though we're seated here. Ooh, five, four, give me one more pull. Ooh, nice job. Now from here, I'm gonna give you two options for the next one. Come all the way up onto your knees, squeeze your bottom, tuck that tailbone under. I'm pulling those handles or those ends of the stretch band on the inside of my hand, the inside of my wrist. Elbows tuck in tight and you're gonna press forward and then slowly resist. Other option, if you want just a little bit more resistance, I'm gonna fold my band in half. I'm gonna wrap it around the back of my rib cage. I hold one end in each hand, so I've got both handles in one hand, and I've got that loop in the other. And same push forward here. That's gonna tighten it up quite a bit. Whew. Hopefully you're feeling that right away. I know I am. 15 more seconds here. And resist, resist, resist. Don't let that band pull you back. Whew, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna set that band off to the side. Hang on to that single glider. Let's grab our hand weights as well. Make sure you have enough room on the second side wherever your mat is positioned. So again, I'm mirroring you. This is going to be my left leg. We are onto the left leg now. Whew, right toes lightly on that glider. We're starting with our reverse lunge. That's our proposing position. We've got that front raise to go along with it. Those arms just come straight forward, right in line with the shoulders, and then driving up through that left heel to come up. Whew. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see that a little bit differently. Both of those legs bend to 90 degrees. We get that stack of that front left knee over that front left ankle. Slowly up, pausing right before we hit the top in that knee. Keep that leg working. Whew. That back right heel is lifted. And again, I love using that mat as the guide because it keeps that hip distance position. Whew, are we ready for that first hold? We've got that little punch across with that static hold in the lower body. Let's find it with that front raise first. Pull those arms in. Lower body stays still. It's that little twist with that reach across. Of course, you know, the bigger or the faster we make that movement, the more we're gonna wobble. Whew. Work to find that stability. Whew, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, we take it back to that full range with that front raise. Whew. Let's keep those hands in front of the chest as we find the top, slowly up just to that 90% again. Bring those arms back down in front. Here we go. Drop it down, that's it. Slowly back up. Whew. Yes, it's only 15 seconds left here for that full range. We've got one more set of that hold with our punch across. It's more of a reach, of course, rather than a sharp, explosive punch. Are we ready? Let's finish it off. Whoo! Holding it here. Pull those arms in front. This is where we finish. Whoo! And it's okay if you wobble. Whoo! I wobble too. Regain that control. Whew. 
All right, let's finish it up slowly to the top. Four counts. Four, three, two, and all the way up. Give that leg a rest. All right, so we stay in that configuration with that left foot on the mat, right toes lightly on that glider. We've got our side lunge with our tricep press. Hands start at the shoulders, and we come low. Coming forward this time, shoulders come forward over that front knee. Press back. Whew, find that stretch, that press through the tricep. Pausing again before we hit the top in that leg. Whew. That leg is already woken up for sure. Whew. And bringing it up nice. Whew. Okay. We're gonna add that single skate in. We're gonna take that tricep with that tricep press with that single skate. We come down first. And then as that right leg bends in, so do those arms. Press those arms back as that right leg presses out. Arms come up and in as we come back up to the top, pausing right before that knee goes straight. Yes. Do it again. Whew. Back long, belly pulling tight, shoulders out of the ears. Do a little check-in, head to toe. Whew. And driving it up through that left heel. Oh, we're close. Whew. Okay, you guys, you ready to finish it off? We've got our pulses here. We're gonna come down. We stay here, those arms stay straight. Arms lift up as that left leg lowers down an inch. Reset, just that one inch for both. Pulse, reset, that's it. It's 15 seconds to finish. You got this. I know you have 15 seconds left. I know you do. Woo. Five, four, three, two. Let's finish off nice and strong. Four counts to the top. Pull those hands back in. Woo. All the way up. Beautiful work. All right. Make sure you have room to send that leg behind you. That right leg stays straight for this one. We pull those hands in front, those arms in front like you're holding your tray. Here we go. Coming forward over that front left leg again. Right leg stays straight. Going right behind you. Send those arms forward and up. And then driving up. Again, pausing right before we hit the top. Nice. I'll show that from the side. Again. Whew. That offering with the arms as we come forward. Whew. And then slowly back up, pausing right before that leg goes straight. Yes, yes. Whew. 10 more seconds here and we've got our pulses. We've got our pulses. Those hands are just gonna come right in front of the chest. Whew, hold it here. From here, I want you to find that down first, down an inch. Up that one inch. Just like on the other side, you're always welcome to come down more than an inch. Never up higher than that one inch. Whew. So if you pulse down two inches, you still only get to lift up one inch. Whew. Less than 15 seconds left here. We go back to that full range with those arms, with that offering. Five, four, three, two. You can keep those hands there as we come up. Then flip it open. Find that position again. Here we go. This is where we finish. Whew. Then we have our work on the mat. We're going to grab that band. Those weights, that glider, they go off to the side. Whew. Pull into that left heel like you're scraping something off the sole of your foot as you drive yourself up who pull yourself up that's it good let's finish this off all the way to the top four three 
two, and one. Nice work. Weights go off to the side. Glider goes off to the side. We grab that band again if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. You're going to feel this work without it. We're still on that left leg. You guys, we're almost there. It goes around the foot. You can wrap it or place that handle or both handles around that foot. Anchor it down with your hands. I'm down onto my elbows. Right underneath the shoulders, bottom in the air, back flat. Send that leg long. We're going to cross it outside that bottom right leg. Give it a little tap on the floor. Slowly bring it up and around. And that knee pulls right into your armpit. Find that fire hydrant position. It goes straight again. A little tap. Whew. So it's like a little half rainbow here. Whew, that's it, that's it. And pull, good. Little tap. And pull, we've got one more here. We hold that leg in that fire hydrant position. For that next one, feel free to pop up onto that left hand as well. Find that position, and then if you want to, pop up onto that hand as well. From here, that leg goes straight out to the side, and then right back in. Nice, and I'll show that from this angle. So we are here. It goes straight out. Knee stays lifted as you pull it in. That's it. And in, we're so close. Woo! Yes. All right, we have one more. Reach out. Make it a reach rather than a kick. Whew. All right, hold it here. Finishing with those little lifts, those little butterflies, those knee flares. Whew. Keep breathing. Oh, that's it, stay with me. This is it, you guys. This is it. Yes, five, four, three, two, and bring it down. Hang on to that band for me. All right, we're gonna wrap it around the feet again, just like we had it before. Heels just stay anchored down to the floor for this one. Knee is bent, legs squeezing together. Both hands come around both of those handles. And we're gonna take a twist to the side. We are once again, just perched right behind those sit bones. Slowly back through center. And then take it to the other side. Going side to side. And slowly back to center. Woo! Woo! Think, still think about that four count. Four, three, two. Hit your farthest twist. Coming back four, three, two. Now if you want to add a little extra, we're going to reach up and over as we come through the center. Arms reach up. Ooh, strong tension into that band. And then pull it down, finding that twist. Reach it up and then pulling down. So good. Whew. And twist. Whew. We are close, less than 15 seconds here. Make them count. Whew. See if you can get a stronger twist each time. Whew. And release. Go ahead and set that band off to the side. We just come right down onto your back on the mat here. Head and shoulders come up right away into a crunch, supporting the head lightly with the hands. Legs go up to the ceiling. I'm going to drop my right leg away and twist towards my left leg, getting that whole side of my right uh, rib cage, that back off the mat. Come back through center, keep those shoulders up, other side. Whew. So I'm going nice and slow. 
That's where we always want to work. Unless we're adding in, you know, a little cardio burst or something like that. We want to find that slow, controlled movement. Whew. Looking for that endurance work. That's it. We're so close, guys. We only have one more after this. Keep those shoulders lifted. See if you can lift higher as you come through center. Whew, that's it. Whew, five, four, three. Finish strong. Hold that lift in center. Hold it. See if you can lift higher. Whew, and then tuck those knees and give yourself a little rock up. All right, we're grabbing both of those gliders to finish it off for today. So we're going to take a little plank series. We're going to have a side step or a full plank jack without the jump, of course. Just sliding both legs out. So either a side step, single leg, or both legs at the same time. In between each upper body movement, I will call them out. Let's start in our high plank. Whew. Keep breathing. From here, I want you to take either your side step or both legs slide out together. Your choice. Hold it here. Legs together. Reach one arm forward. See how little you can rotate. Back down. Reach the other arm forward. Back down. Hold it here. Legs again. Slide out either one leg or both legs. Hold it here. Take a swim. One arm reaches back, up and over. Other side. Up and over. Whew. Legs again. Here we go. Okay. We're taking it up, down. Here we go. Starting with the right. Down onto the elbow. Left elbow. Back onto the right hand. Left hand. Hold. Legs. Whew. Take that slide. Up, down with the other side. Left elbow. Right elbow. Left hand. Right hand. Here are your legs again. Hold it here. I'm dropping to my knees. We're taking push-ups to finish. Wide hands this time rather than that narrow tricep push-up we took in the beginning. And down. And up. And up. Tailbone tucked. Nice long back. 15 seconds to the finish line, you guys. That's it. Then we stretch. Belly pulling tight. Easy shoulders. If those push-ups become too much or you feel your form start to go, hold that plank. Give me one more. I know you have one more in you. And push. Hold just for a breath. And then find a child's pose. Whoo. Whoo. Let's thread those arms. Send one arm underneath. And then sit it back again. That little twist of the shoulders. Ooh, take it to the other side. Alright, come on up. And we're going to take one leg forward. I've got my left leg forward here. Right leg is back. And then just finding that stretch here. Squeezing into that right glute. Opening up that hip. Let's take both hands down and then straighten out that back right leg if you can, dropping those hips down. See how much you can lengthen your spine, your torso here rather than just rounding over that front leg. And then shift it up, Ooh, stretching into the back of that front leg. Ooh, bring it back to that lunge, lower that back knee down. Bring both legs together, hold it here in an all fours position. And we'll take some cat cows before we take that stretch to the other side. Tucking that tailbone, shoulders out of the ears. Pull the chest forward, stretch out the front of the body. And scoop, stretch that back. And arch, let's take one more. Whew. 
and arch all right from here take the other leg forward whichever leg was not forward before Ooh, just lifting up feeling that opening in that back hip Easy breathing, shoulders down. Do a check in on those shoulders, see where they landed at the end of class. Let's bring the hands down, straighten that back leg, reach through the heel, reach through your chest. Feel that length from head to toe. Whew. Yes, and then shift it up. Whew. Stretching out the back of that front leg. Find that lunge again, lower that back knee, and then bring that leg back. Find your way to a seated position here. And cross one leg in front, doesn't matter which one. And then walk yourself forward. All right, walk yourself up. Let's switch that leg in front, Ooh, walk it forward. This is definitely my tight side, so I can't get down as much, but I'm definitely feeling that stretch. And then walk yourself up and in, and let's interlace the fingers. One big stretch up, Ooh. stretch through the sides of the body. Try to draw those shoulders out of the ears, even here. Release, and then just press those arms down. Give me one shoulder roll to finish. Ooh, releasing any last bits of tension out of those shoulders. And you are finished. That is class. Nice job.